Hey everybody, Danny Rubino here with Windows Phone Central and we got a Nokia Lumia 525 for you this morning. We're going to do a quick unboxing and hands-on for you. Now, I honestly don't expect this to be really any different from a Nokia Lumia 520. In fact, I have one right here to show you guys. But the big difference, of course, with this device is it's got one gigabyte of RAM over to 520, uh, which only had 512. So that makes a big difference when you want to run some new games and apps. It's actually a big difference, especially for a low-end device like the 520 and the 525, which run really cheap on and off contract. Um, so let's take a look quickly here, but this will be a really good video for those of you guys who have never had a Windows phone and are curious, what is the 525? So... And this device is just coming onto the market now. Uh, it's a low cost device, uh, entry level Windows phone, if you will. It goes for, you know, a little less than $100 usually. Uh, you can see here, I got this nice orange. It does have a glossy back, which I think is different from the 520 series, which had more matte colors. So that is kind of nice. Um, I don't have the battery installed yet. We got our normal unboxing material stuff here, like little safety information and how to you can see this is an international release more for the um, Asian markets than the US we aren't actually expecting this to come to the US anytime soon nor the UK that may change of course but uh, if you want this device in those countries and regions you may have to order it online uh, you can see here you got your micro USB charger I sort of like these all in ones they're kind of nice uh, you also do have a separate cable for Sinking, although it's a really short one, so hope you have some space between your computer. Here is the battery, which I believe is a 1430 milliamp battery. I don't even know if it says on there, um, but this should be the yeah, 1430 milliamp. So, this is the exact same battery as a 520. Uh, everything about this device is the same as a 520 except the RAM. In fact, the weight, the size, everything, which makes sense if you think about it because oh, there are your headphones, which of course come in the international version. But it makes sense because if Nokia wants to make this phone and save cost, you're just going to make it, you know, the same as the 520. If I can remember how to pull this off here. There we go. And there's your insides. You can see you get your little 5 megapixel camera on the back. Not the best camera in the world, but for a low-cost device, what do you want? Um, there's your area where you can put your SIM and I believe that is also where you can put your um, micro SD expansion. That's a good thing since it only has 8 gigabytes of internal storage which isn't a whole lot when you actually turn it on. You only get about 4, 4.5 gigs usually of actual space. Here's the back of the cover. You have a little silencer there for the, the battery to keep it uh, from shifting around and we can pop it on. Let's see if that'll boot up. Okay, everybody, we're back. We booted up the phone, and you can see it right here. Uh, basically, it is the same as a 520, which I'm going to put on screen here so you can just see it. Like I said, um, everything about this phone is exactly the same. It is same size, same, same weight. Uh, the only difference I've noticed so far is on the 520, you have tend to have matte colors and then on the 525 it's more glossy you can also see here on the 525 they have the embedded Nokia logo which is actually you can actually feel it whereas on the 525 they've gone for this more well you can barely see it right there uh, really not much branding going on uh, anymore with the Nokia they I guess made with the, the glossy they want to do something a little bit less but um there you go. So what does this device pack? It's got a 1 gigahertz dual core processor, which surprisingly is enough for Windows Phone 8 to run adequately on. It's not as great as having a 2.2 quad core, say on the Lumia 1520, but it ain't half bad either. Uh, you got a 4 inch IPS display, no clear black, so there's no polarizer on this, meaning the viewing angles uh, aren't as good as you can kind of see there. Um, but, you know, there are going to be trade-offs with all these devices. Other than that, like I said, you have 8 gigabytes of storage, 5 megapixel camera, no flash. You got your speaker here at the bottom. Micro USB there as well. Coming over here, it is totally clean. Uh, headphone jack on top. And there are your buttons. You got your camera, your power, and volume. So other than that, pretty normal Lumia. Let's scroll here to apps. You can kind of see what we got. Uh, there's camera. There's, of course, data sense, games, helps. 
here maps drive now what's kind of cool about this of course is you get your smart cam this can actually run basically everything since it has that one gigabyte of ram on board it allows users to install things like temple run and uh, temple run 2 and subway surfers and any other games that may be Cry, will cry or one gig. Uh, that requirement for games and apps though should be going away in the future, but for now, this is a great alternative. Uh, other than that though, there's not much difference between this and the 520, so we're expecting the exact same quality. Uh, the 520 has been a really a big sleeper hit and now accounts for almost a quarter, I believe, of all Windows phones out there. So it is a big uh, feature phone for a lot of people uh but there you go head to windows phone central for more information we'll see about doing a little review of this although we don't expect it to be much different than the 520 if you have any questions ask away and you can also head to wp central for some high-res photos in case you really want to see this baby up close but there you go take care everybody